Welcome back to the Top Down Shooter tutorial. We're working in Blender this time around to create a, a little character. And last video we created the model for the character. We're actually going to add um, some more detail to this later. But in terms of unwrapping this right now, we're gonna keep it really simple. Now you generally wouldn't unwrap the model until you have fully created all the, all the mesh. But the way we're gonna do it is a little bit different. So we're going to um, keep it pretty simple here. We're not going to change any of the topology later on. We're not going to uh, add more detail into it. We're just going to add more geometry. So with this here, I'm going to go into UV editing. And I am going to uh, go ahead and add a material, or the material that's there, I'm going to call it UV texture map. And then I'm going to change the base color here to be an image texture. And this I'm going to open, and I'm going to have to go and find... Uh, I think in my downloads folder, I have got, uh, oh, that, that's what I'm after, this one here. So if I open this up, and then I can open it over here, what I've got here is a Minecraft template. Now the reason I'm using a Minecraft template is because we've modeled it after the Minecraft dude. It also means we can use any kind of Minecraft skin we want. We don't need to go ahead creating our own. Um, for the level one, two, and three media standards, creating pixel art is um, not actually relevant. But what we're doing here with the UV mapping is a, a fairly complex uh, skill. So it does count, but the pixel art doesn't. So there's no need to, to really focus on that in here. What we are going to do though, I'm gonna select this head here, is we're going to unwrap this head to the, this here, essentially. So what we're going to do is we are going to look at this and see um, how we can unwrap it. Now by unwrap it, I mean we're gonna turn it into a flat uh, bunch of shapes. So very easily, I can see that the head top and the head bottom are over here and they're separate from the rest of them here. So let's go ahead and just select both of those and hit Control E and mark those as seams. Now when they get unwrapped, which we'll look at in a second, they're gonna come out as separate objects. Everything else here though, we want to start with the head right side, which is this one. And it looks like it's connected to the face and then the left side and the back side. So we're gonna put a seam down here because there is no connection between the right side and the back side. So we're gonna put a seam down there. We'll select the edge mode, control E, mark seam. Now, this doesn't actually matter too much. We could do this in a different order and still get the same result. Now I'm gonna select A, and over here, I'm gonna push U. Now that, oh, that's giving me a weird shape there. Uh, over here, I'll push U and unwrap. Oh, okay. Now, if you get this result, actually I remember doing this on purpose for this reason. If you get this result where you've got cubes here or you've got squares here, but over here it unwraps to rectangles, which is wrong. You wanna go into object mode, hit object, apply, and apply all transforms. Mainly scale in this case, but I'm just gonna hit all transforms. I go into edit and I'll push U and unwrap and then I'll get the uniform unwraps over here. Now, hitting A, I'm gonna select all these and I'm gonna go at the top here to UV and I am going to, uh, there is a snap that I want to here, snap to pixels and I wanna select corner. What that's going to do, if I zoom in and hit G, oh, I have incremental snapping on, I wanna turn that off. Hit G, it snaps pixel by pixel, which is really handy. Okay, because we're working with fairly small images here anyway. So I'm gonna scale uh, by selecting these four. So I just hit this to select face mode over here. Select these four and scale them down. I'm gonna move them over to here. Now I should be able to get them so that they just slot over that. I'll have to play around with the scale a little bit. And the texture may not be exactly the right size. Um, and it doesn't look like it is. It's not going to perfectly go there for some reason. Um, even though it is a perfect square. I think I can scale it down. There we go, all right. So I've got that pretty much on there and I'll just move it down one pixel 
Okay, now how do I get it to show up over here? Should be fairly easy. I should just put it into viewport shading. And then I've got that all good. So there's the face, there is the back, there's the left side, and there's the right side. So that's working. The rest of it is just a mess at the moment. Um, I'm gonna select the top. So we're going to face mode here, and then over here, it's selected that top for me. So I'll scale that down, hit G, and put it in the top. Now, this may not necessarily be rotated the proper way around, and I think it's gonna depend on the skin, but I think we want the text to come this way. So if things are not rotated properly, you can just rotate them over here. I'll get the bottom, which is this face, hit A, oops, scale it in, hit G, and then position that there. So that's the head done. Now I'm gonna repeat that same process for all of the other things here. You'll see how they're all laid out. They've got the, the this is the um, right arm. So right arm, right side, right arm, front side, right arm, left arm, uh, left side, right arm, back side. You can isolate this and I could go ahead and once again select the top and the bottom and mark those as separate seams. And then looking at this, we want the right side of the arm, which is this, uh, is not connected to the back side. So I can select that edge and hit Control E and mark seam. And then making sure I probably need to go into object mode and hit N. And I can see here the scale is off. So it's gonna be funny. So I wanna make sure I go Control A, all transforms, or that was object, apply, apply all transforms. And then I go in, hit U, unwrap, and I get this unwrap here, which looks which looks right to me. Okay, I'll rotate it 90 degrees. And then I can select these and scale them down. Actually, I rotated it the wrong way. I want to rotate it that way. And push them here and scale them down so that they are the right size and position them right there. So perfect. I've got the, those are going around there. And then I'll just repeat the same thing with this here. Uh, I'm gonna have to rotate those the other way, I think, and scale them so they match that and position them over there. Now that's the same process for all of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here and then I will uh, bring it back when I'm done and we'll, I'll just go through um, everything that I've done here. You should be able to isolate each of these and do them separately because at the moment we've got some of these things hidden. So just to go through where these things are located over here, this is the body. So we've got body right side, body front side, left side, back side, and we've got the top and the bottom side. We're not gonna worry about these down here, okay? The jacket, all that stuff. Um, or the right sleeve, those are for more complex uh, texture packs for Minecraft. This one here, you can essentially just use the right arm one again, and then do a mirror of it. Uh, the old alternate is to use the left arm, which is down here. Okay, so that's the left arm. Some skins might have a different right arm and left arm. It's up to you whether you just wanna duplicate the right arm across, or reuse that. If you do duplicate the right arm across, you can mirror it along the X global and see that that's over there now. So I might actually do that. I'm just gonna delete that. I am going to duplicate this one and then mirror it along the X global and I've already got that there. Doesn't matter that the words are back to front because it's going to be um, textures on here anyway. The leg, We've got the right leg up here and we've got the left leg down here. So just be aware that you've got the right leg and the left leg in slightly different places, but I would just use the right leg and duplicate it and mirror it to the left hand side. So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna stop the video here. We'll come back in a minute and make sure, and I'll go through everything that I've done. Five minutes later. Okay, welcome back to the video. Hopefully you've done all of this. You'll see that I use the right arm and right arm front side, left arm 
uh, and right leg for both of them and just mirrored them. Now you'll see that my guy is in a T-pose. You might be tempted to do this because this is generally how models are made. The problem with doing it this way though is because we don't want these arms to actually deform, this is the wrong way to go about doing it. So I'm just going to bring it back to here because what we want to do essentially is rotate it around like a pivot point in here. Uh, we're gonna add some bones in there, but if we have it up in a T-pose, to get it back to this position here, it's going to uh, deform the arm and make it kind of bend down. It's gonna do some strange things. So we're just gonna keep it like this, which is gonna be a lot uh, easier for us to work with, especially since it kind of looks like Minecraft Steve has pins going all the way through his body here and these arms just rotate on those pins and that's how we're gonna to aim to animate stuff later on. Uh, before we do anything else uh, in this video, we or in this series, we're gonna edit these here. So we're gonna go into these, uh, each one, edit mode, and hit Control R, and we're gonna add about five ring cuts on each arm. So I'll do it on that one. Control R, five, and the same thing to the leg. That's gonna give it a bit more geometry when we move it and rotate it. Don't make these tighter because what will happen is uh, they will change the, the UVs on it as well. So we don't wanna change the UVs, we want it to look the same. It's gonna be mapped to that. And you can test that this works now by clicking open and open a new texture. So I've gone to downloads and I'll just bring in uh, this texture here. That one obviously didn't work. Uh, his legs are on there. Um, I, I think that might be an old texture. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a different shape. It's a different shape. Okay, so there we go. That's, that's what we want. We've got that in there and it's working pretty good. So you could use any Minecraft texture you want. I'm just gonna stick with that one for now. This one we're just using for laying out, but we're gonna animate it with this one here.